Hi, I'm clinical psychologist Dr. Michael Yapko, and I'd like to welcome you to our 2013 webinar series. Hi, I'm Diane Yapko, and I'll be co-hosting with the administrative details everything about the webinar. So I will first let Michael tell you about the series, and then I'll tell you about the very easy way to make it happen for you. The field of hypnosis is inherently fascinating, and it will be my privilege throughout 2013 to host a series of experts. Each month for about an hour, I'm going to hold a conversation with somebody who is well known in the field of clinical hypnosis, either a researcher or a clinician or both, and I'll have the opportunity to talk with them about past experiences that were formative for them, new interests, research and research implications, things that affect their practices and their teaching of hypnosis. And so the idea is, no matter where you are in the world, to be able to log on and watch this webinar and have an opportunity to listen to someone with a great deal of expertise in some area of interest that will be entertaining and informative and valuable. Let me tell you who my guests are for the year. In January, my first guest is psychologist Irving Kirsch. Kirsch has been a principal explorer and researcher in the domain of placebo effects and a principal architect of the sociocognitive perspective of hypnosis, one of the leading and most informative viewpoints about the nature of hypnosis and hypnotic phenomena. In February, my guest is Sidney Rosen, a psychiatrist from New York who is so well known for his book, My Voice Will Go With You, that brought many of Milton Erickson's teaching tales to the rest of the world. Well, Sid has his own stories to tell too, and I'm gonna look forward to talking with him in February. In March, my guest will be psychologist Stephen Gilligan. Stephen is one of the premier teachers of Ericksonian hypnosis, and in recent years has evolved his own model that he calls self-relations. And so I'll have the opportunity to talk with Stephen in detail about his experiences and perspectives. In April, my guest is physician Elvira Lang. Elvira works in the domain of medical procedures and using hypnosis to make those medical procedures easier for people to tolerate. And she'll be talking about how she does that and what kinds of outcomes to expect from that sort of intervention. Then my guest in May is going to be Steve Langton. Steve is the editor of the American Journal of Clinical Hypnosis, and Steve is also one of the premier teachers of Ericksonian hypnosis. But he's incredibly current, of course, because as editor, the research comes across his desk first. In June, my guest is surgeon and physician Dabney Ewing. Dabney's been in the field for a very long time and has made so many seminal contributions. In fact, rocked the world when he described how he used hypnosis to redu reduce the effects of burns and to help with asthma and allergies. It'll be great to talk to Dabney. In July is psychologist Pam Kaiser, who is a pediatric specialist. Pam is co director of the National Pediatric Hypnosis Training Institute, or NIFTI, and she is one of the premier teachers of how to use hypnosis with children. In August, I'll be talking with Australian psychologist George Burns. George has written many volumes on the use of metaphor in treatment, and more recently, the use of hypnosis in enhancing the effects of positive psychology. In September, my guest will be Italian psychologist Consuelo Casula from Milan. Consuelo is a very powerful woman who speaks to the topic of gender and hypnosis and has a lot to say about the role of hypnosis in empowering people in general and certainly women specifically. In October, my guest will be psychotherapist Betty Alice Erickson from Texas. Betty is a daughter of Milton Erickson and so she certainly has a lot of family history to share, but she has evolved her own perspectives about how to use and apply Ericksonian principles, and so I'll look forward to talking with her. And then in November, my guest is Arid Barbash, who is the director of the University of Washington's program, 
but he is the editor of the International Journal of Clinical and Experimental Hypnosis. He is a premier researcher and clinician himself, so it'll be a great pleasure to talk with Arid. And then finally, my last guest in December will be from Rome, the well-known psychiatrist Camilla Lorieto, who is the immediate past president of the International Society of Hypnosis. Camilo has been a long-time advocate of the use of hypnosis in working with couples and families, and one of the few experts in that particular domain. So I'm really looking forward to talking with him about working with couples and families utilizing hypnosis. So as you can appreciate now, we have an amazing lineup of experts throughout the year. It will be an exceptionally entertaining and informative way of getting to know the experts and getting some food for thought about new ways of using hypnosis in practice. So we hope you'll join us. You can go to yapko.com, that's Y-A-P-K-O.com, in order to get further information and to register. You can register for individual presentations or you can register at a discount for the entire series. Once you register, you're going to be capably handled by Diane. I will welcome you to the series. I will send you emails and support you in whatever way I can to make this easy because we do know for a lot of people it's unfamiliar territory. But it's just about getting an email and a link you click on and you'll be able to join us. I want to be able to encourage people that are already in the field of hypnosis but also in the fields of psychology in general and healthcare in general. This webinar is meant to introduce more people to hypnosis. We know that there are a lot of different techniques that are being used out there and people need to understand and learn how they can integrate it into their practice, even if they don't call it hypnosis. So we hope anybody interested in the topic will join us. I will be happy to correspond with you in whatever way you would like to help make this easy for you. Our webinar series from 2012 is on the website so you can see any past webinars as well and we hope you'll join us in 2013. So we appreciate your attention. One other thing I should let you know about in January will be a free half hour overview of the series that I'll be providing. So if you're not quite sure yet whether you're ready to commit to this or want to register, you can certainly tune in at no cost in January and you'll have even more information about what to expect. So thanks for your attention. We hope you'll join us throughout 2013 for this webinar series. Again, thanks for your attention. Take thanks. care. Bye. Bye.